The Luminex front emblem that we have here would be a great option for the 2018 and newer F-150 owners out there who might be looking to black out that traditional blue oval while at the same time adding some very cool LED accent lighting in the process. Now this officially licensed piece will deliver that combination of blacked out look, super bright LED, all for right around the $180 price point. Installation on the other hand will be plug and play to your fuse box but will require removal of that front grille in order to gain access to the emblem itself. So therefore, site's gonna kick this one up to a middle of the road, two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, and at least an hour or two to complete from start to finish. But if you hang with me for a little bit, we'll walk you through that job later in the video. So this is a pretty cool product that I would say kills two birds with one stone, meaning on the surface, you're getting that emblem to change the traditional Ford blue oval to a more sinister matte black emblem but at the same time, you're still maintaining that white Ford lettering. And I would say this is a mod a lot of F-150 owners like doing just for obvious reasons, because it just looks really cool. Now with this emblem, there is definitely more than meets the eye. Once powered up, that white Ford lettering comes to life thanks to the super bright LED lighting that shines at 6,500K color temperature. It's gonna be bright white with a small touch of blue. But maybe most importantly, guys, is the fact that it's going to be very, very bright. In fact, feel free to check out our customer submitted images on this one, guys, because it's a great way to get a better idea of what that color temperature might look like, in addition to seeing just how bright this thing is once it's fired up. Now, as far as your build and materials are concerned, well, the emblem itself is gonna be built from a very durable polymer or plastic material, while the housing itself has been given a waterproof rating of an IP69K. Now, that's the highest achievable, so therefore, you're not gonna have to worry about those LEDs being affected by a driving rainstorm, or maybe you're mobbing through some deep mud puddles off-road. Now, one very important thing to keep in mind with this particular option is that this emblem is only going to apply to trucks without that forward-facing camera. Now, as you may or may not know, in the 2018 and newer F-150s, Ford did put the camera through the actual bottom portion of the emblem itself. So therefore, this will frankly not work. However, you should know that there is a version available here on the site with the necessary cutouts in place to work with those forward-facing cameras. And if you are interested in grabbing that for your truck, it's gonna be item number T542788. And for either truck interested in keeping that look kind of consistent front to back, there are gonna be matching rear emblems available on the site as well. But now we wanna get into the installation portion of the video. And again, the emblem itself is pretty much power and ground, plug and play stuff to your fuse box. But the emblem itself to get that off will require removal of the front grille in order to get the job done. But to give you a better idea of how everything is gonna go down, here's that detailed walkthrough and quick tool breakdown. Tools used for this install are a ratchet, 13 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, eight millimeter socket, seven millimeter socket, a clip tool, needle nose pliers, wire strippers and crimpers, some zip ties, and some crimp on electrical connectors if desired. So for this install, we are going to have to remove our front grill, disassemble some of its components, and run a few wires over to the fuse box. It's a pretty simple process and very minimal tools are required. I'm gonna walk you through the whole thing, so let's get started. So I'm gonna start off by using my clip tool to remove the clips that hold the upper rad cover as well as the intake snorkel onto the vehicle. I'll just work my way around the top and then I can pull this off. The next thing I'm gonna do is use my 10 millimeter socket to remove the four screws at the top before I can move on to the two lower screws at the bottom, which I'll show you how to remove in just a second. So in order to remove the two screws at the bottom of the grill, I have to remove these two screws at the corner of the wheel well that holds this lip onto the front. So I'm gonna use my seven millimeter socket, pull these screws out on both sides, and I can remove this lower trim piece to expose those two screws for the grill.
Now I can just repeat this on the other side and pull this trim piece off. So by removing this lower trim piece, I've exposed this eight millimeter headed screw down here at the corner of the grill. There's one on either side. So I'll use my eight mil socket to pull that out and then I can work on pulling the grill off. Now the last thing I'll do before I pull the grill out is unplug the active shutter as well as the connector for the ambient air temperature sensor. And now I can just pull the grill right off. So the first thing I'm gonna to have to do now that I have the whole grill and active shutter assembly out of the vehicle is remove the active shutter assembly from the grill. There are five clips along the top, as well as four nuts located in the corner and one bolt here in the middle. Uh, I'm gonna use my clip tool to pull the clips. I'll use a 10 mil socket for the rest of it. Next, I can remove this center bolt here that attaches the active shutter to the grill. Now I can remove the four nuts in the corners. Finally, I can remove these four nuts on the corners of the back of the grill. And then I can start to work the grill and the shutter assembly apart. Now you can separate the shutter assembly from the grill. So we've removed the active shutter assembly from the back of the grill and that's gonna expose these three studs on the back of the emblem that have 10 millimeter nuts on them. So I'm gonna take my 10 mil socket, pull those nuts off and this emblem should pop right out. I've got this flipped over so you can see the emblem coming off. It should just come right out of the holes and now we can install our new one. Now all you have to do is line up the studs on the back of the emblem with the holes that are in the grill, fish your wire through the hole, and then you can bolt it down with the provided hardware. And I'm just gonna use my eight millimeter socket to snug this down, make sure not to over tighten them. So now that you have your new emblem installed, you can go ahead and reassemble your active shutter assembly to the grill. And that's just gonna be in the reverse order. While I have this apart, I'm gonna fish my wires up through the hole for my ambient air temp sensor connector. And then I can run them along to my fuse box when I'm ready to do that. All right, so now we can reinstall the hardware onto the four studs located on the back of the grill, and then we're ready to throw this grill back onto the truck and run our wires. So we know the connections for our illuminated emblem are gonna come out here at the ambient air temp sensor and the active shutter uh, plugs. So what I'm going to do is run my wires along the top of the rad support here using this wire loom as my guide. So I'm just gonna take a few zip ties and tie this onto the loom for those two plugs. And then I can run these over to the fuse box and make my connections.
There's a hole to pass the wires through here at the top of the rad support. This will keep the wires hidden and out of the way of anything hot or moving. That way you won't cause any damage to your wires once everything's installed. So I've got my wires routed approximately where I'm gonna make my connections. So at this point, I'm ready to throw my grill back onto the truck and then I can move on to hooking up my power and ground source for the light up emblem. Now I can reinstall the hardware that secures the grill to the vehicle. I've got my eight millimeter socket for the bolt at the bottom and I'll use my 10 mil for the four at the top. So in order to make the connection here at the fuse box, we are going to have to pull one of the fuses out. Uh, they instruct you to t pull out number 18, which is a 10 amp fuse right here. So I'm going to use my needle nose pliers and I can pop this fuse out of the fuse box. Be very careful not to damage it. And then I can install it into the provided fuse tap. Now I can take that 10 amp fuse that I just pulled out of the box, install it into the fuse tap in the empty slot. And now I can install this fuse tap back into the spot that I removed this fuse from. Throw this cover back on. So the last connection I need to make is for my ground. And on a vehicle, there is no better ground than the negative battery post. So what I'm going to do is crimp on an M8 eyelet onto the end of my ground wire. And then I'm gonna install that to my negative battery post by removing this 13 millimeter nut and then bolting it down. Now that I have my connections made at my power and ground, I can just plug my wires together, red to red, black to black, and then I can finish reinstalling all of my covers and trim pieces and wrap this install up. Now I can reinstall my upper rad cover and then my lower grill trim. Last thing I'm gonna do is install my two seven millimeter screws on either side of the wheel well. And that's gonna wrap up this review and install of the Luminix LED front emblem for your 2018 to 2020 F-150. Thanks for watching, and for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.